So last time I did a, a Rockler order, I went ahead and I, I bought this. It is a silicone glue tool. It's basically Rockler's new innovation tool. It is a reusable glue brush. Uh, I'm sure everybody has used um, basically their flux brushes, but the little disposable brushes to apply glue. Um, I don't tend to use those because they tend to be uh, a little costly. Um, so I decided this was on sale, it's introductory price. It was like, I think I didn't spend more than $4 on it. So I was like, well, let me give it a shot. I'm all for things in the shop that you can reuse. Um, I'm for anything in life that you can reuse. Um, I think we tend to be way too wasteful. Uh, especially in this country, in America, um, I think we, we tend to um, buy things with a lot of packaging and, and one-time disposable things. So I, I like stuff that you can use over and over again, or at least for a really long time. Um, I think it makes sense, and I think it's good environmentally as well as um, for your budget. Uh, these acid brushes right or um, glue brushes now this one here um, I didn't really buy it it came with a soldering kit I believe um, but that's the type of uh, brush you can buy um, it's basically sheet metal or a rolled sheet metal tube with the bristles clamped in the end I think you know they're fine if you want to go ahead and use them I think they're a little wasteful and they're a little expensive for my part um, I rather buy things like popsicle sticks or something like that to spread it. Um, what I've used in the past, and you can get them in different sizes, is I've used those um, foam brushes, right? Um, I tend not to use those too often too for the same reason, but I've had a couple and I used them and when they're done, I got this out of a, like a reader tip out of a magazine. Um, so I'm kind of just passing on that person's idea. But you take the foam off and the foam is all you know, cruddy, you take that off and there's a plastic in the inside, right? Plastic here and the larger ones are the same way. And these work really nice then for spreading uh, glue on stuff. And I like them a lot and I've used them for quite some time. And another good thing is because of the plastic, the glue just picks right off of it then. So you don't really have to cl clean them, just let them dry and then the glue will come right off. Um, so I'm hoping that this will kind of work in that same way. Um, here on the back is the spreader that is similar to this. Uh, this is a little more flexible, and I kind of like that. It spreads a nice even coat. Um, but let's give this a shot. For a couple bucks, if it's more rugged and will last longer than these, I get maybe 10 to 20 uses out of something like this before it kind of breaks all up. But um, not bad, and a good way of recycling those foam brushes. So even though I think the foam brushes are kind of wasteful, there are certain times where I've used them um, and I still got additional use out of them. So at least they lived on a little more. But I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna give this a shot. Um, everybody kind of knows how these work, but I'll even show you how this kind of works. But let's go ahead and give this Rockler glue applier a little bit of practice, right? And we'll see how this works. Um, I'm kind of liking the bristle action on it though. It does a pretty good job of spreading evenly. Um, yeah, it's, it's actually doing a pretty good job. It kind of works almost like a trowel with notches in how it you know spreads this out. I think that did a really good job. I'm really quite pleased on how that that spread. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'll just put some more glue here, right? And I'll just try spreading this out like that. So a way, good way to get a nice thin layer, uh, or move it around and then come back with the brush. Now here is the old foam brush insides and yeah kind of works the same way 
Um, I think that does a pretty good job, right? So what I'm going to do, let me spread it more this way. Uh, just spread it that way. So basically what I want to do is get glue on all these, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit it down there. And I'm going to go ahead and let that dry uh, overnight. I will come back tomorrow and see how easy it is to clean up. And that will kind of be our test. Um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I let the, the glue dry on this as well as, you know, that's just, but the glue dried. It's on there pretty good on both ends. So let's go ahead and try to get it off this end, right? Not too bad. I mean, it comes right off there. I expected that not to be too much of an issue. But now I have this other end, right? And this is all gobbed up with glue. So let's see how well this glue comes out of here. It's peeling off. Right. Still rubbery on the inside a little. It has been. There we go. Completely clean. Hmm. You gotta be careful when you're pulling it off of this end. But if you're careful, it's not too bad. Comes right off. Pretty good. I recommend it. Um, I like how well this end put glue on. This is good for getting into tight areas. Um, but that would spread the glue really well. I got it for about three dollars. Uh, it's the introductory price. If it continues to perform like that, um, yeah, I recommend it. So basically, three bucks. I got a glue brush that I can use over and over again. Uh, that's definitely a plus. Um, I'll see how it holds up in time, and maybe I'll, I'll come back to it if there's an issue. Um, but for a couple bucks, I, I recommend it. It's cheaper than going with uh, going with brushes like this. I think for what you could spend on a bag of these. You could buy one of these and hopefully it'll last a lot longer. So, any questions, you know, send me an email. Um, you can follow me on Facebook, um, Internet, The Internet Woodworker on Facebook. Um, you can follow me on iTunes and, and uh, all that kind of stuff. So, um, take care.